Dear single men who think I am joking when I say I do not want kids, when I put it in my dating profile, when I say it on the first date, when I maintain saying it on every following date, when I have listed arguments and facts and reasons as to why I don't want them. It's not a flipping challenge to get me to change my mind, you dumb flipping dip flip. And no, I will not just date you in the meantime. I am not a snack. I am the whole five course stinking meal and my time is valuable. Thank you. Have a nice night. Mic drop. Hello everybody and welcome back to a brand new bouquet of fresh perennials and chrysanthemums. My name is Leon Lush and I am, you know what, hold on a second. My name is Leon Lush, joined here by Little Tomato and we are just so pleased to have you with us for just a few minutes here today. It is real dad hours out here right now, folks. Let me tell you what, my son's been a little sick this week, so he's been home from daycare. My wife works full time, so when that happens, I'm tasked with daddy daycare. So it's been a little stressful because we're going away for uh, our anniversary this weekend, and it kind of flipped my whole upload schedule on its head, so I figured, why not? You know what I'm saying? Two birds with one stone, take care of the baby, we'll hit him with a little lunch, and we're gonna make a little content at the same time. You know I keep my bib game 100. Now, I was unaware of this previously, but it's it's perfect timing with my son here today, but there's a community of people online called Child Free that are, uh, I guess it's probably predominantly women, that are very, very proud of their decision to, to be childless and never, ever have children. Now, there's nothing wrong with that, of course. It's everybody's choice individually whether or not they want to have kids or start a family, and of course, you know, there's that familial pressure that's pretty standard in our society, that societal pressure, I think, on women's and families, or women's and relationships or marriages. It's like, oh, when are you gonna have kids? Every family reunion you go to, every time you see your aunt and her uncle, it's like, when are you having kids? When are you having kids? And, you know, I guess if you really don't want kids, that can get a little obnoxious. But this kind of community, I was browsing through this Reddit, it takes it a step further and goes beyond just, you know, being proud of being child-free and, and kind of just people that hate kids and people with kids in general, it seems like. Yeah. Um, 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 anyways, Jack thought it would be a fun idea to just read through a couple of these and have a little bit of a laugh because that's what we like to do here on the Leon Lust channel in between bites of parsnip and bark porridge. <laughs> when someone asks me when I'm going to have kids. <laughs> what do you think about that meme? First thing that comes to mind. Lame. By the way, we're keeping it family friendly PG clean today for obvious reasons. Nigel is going to remain fully dressed. Hope you don't mind. So the title of this meme is My Children Forever, so I guess the OP is insinuating that she has a parrot, and her parrot is considered, is what she considers her kids, so, you know, for other humans to ask her when she's going to have kids, it's uh uh uh, flip you, buddy. I already have kids in the form of in the form of parrots. Ooh, I have birdie babies, saving this for later usage. <laughs> when anyone asks me if I'm going to have kids, I tell them I already do, and then I spend 10 minutes showing pictures and babbling to them about my baby birdies. Hard eye emojis. Hopefully those parents will understand that that's how they look every time they talk about their poop factories. <laughs> I gotta say, even though my large intestine just evaporated from cringe, uh, they aren't wrong. These these things are absolutely poop factories. In fact, it's been 15 minutes. He's probably got a hot one leaking out of his diaper as we speak. Ooh, yeah. Here's one from Catnip Chronicles, who has a Reddit badge called Death Before Delivery, with a skull emoji. <laughs> has anyone ever bought a pet from a breeder just to have another type of breeder tell you how irresponsible it is not to adopt it? I have, and they don't like my response. Before we get to that, though, just a little bit of quick info. I have five animals, two dogs, and three cats. All but one cat are rescues. I bought one bangle from a very reputable breeder. She knows her stuff, does all the relevant health testing, and even runs a non-profit or working to preserve endangered species in their habitat. <laughs> So when I have some self-righteous mommy attempt to shame me for buying a pet with the old adopt, don't shop, don't breed and buy while shelter animals die, I hit back with the uh, adopt, don't get cocked, don't breed while kids in the system need. Yeah, I can make silly rhymes too. Bish. Ooh, <laughs> adopt, don't get cocked. Don't breed while kids in the system need. Are you kidding me? Get wrecked, breeder. <laughs> oh, I know, sorry. Daddy's getting a little crazy. Here we go. One watermelon piece later. I work at a historic site and hear this question regularly. Is there anything fun for my kids to do here? Well, it's a historic civil battlefield, so no. There is no playground or jungle gym for your crotch goblin. Men died here. The viewers... The... <laughs> The universe doesn't revolve around the entertainment of your children. I know I'm just bitter, but damn, don't be so obtuse. Now, while I do think it's a little bit absurd that someone would take to the internet to rant about that specific situation, I can't disagree. Um, parents can be pretty obnoxious. Now, unless you're going somewhere that's specifically for kids, right? It's, 
you really have to be self-sufficient as a parent. Like, I can't ever in a million years fathom going to a, a historic war museum and asking if there's something for my kids to do. Like, no, obviously there's not, you dumb prick. Oh, earmuffs. What genius parent brings a child to a war battlefield memorial? That is something that a child will inherently find boring. Like, do these people forget that babysitters exist? True story, man. I'm either getting a babysitter or I'm going to the club with my boy. You know what I'm saying? He's turning one soon. It's bottle service. It's goose. It's henny. It's dubstep music in thoughts. <laughs> I'm totally kidding. Clubs are for losers. We bring the party to us. <sighs> Unbelievable sights. Indescribable feeling. Crotch goblin, semen demon, cock orc, ankle biter, scrotum soldier, flip trophy, penis puppet, meat siren? What? Snot monster, crumb snatcher, filching failure? Listen, pal, it's people like these you never have to worry about, okay? Because, well, you're sitting here cute AF, smashing watermelons and raspberries into your gullet. An absolute trophy, which is not all that far off. These clowns are stuffed up in an office somewhere, sitting on Reddit, coming up with condescending nicknames for kids. So, you're already, you already won, basically. <laughs> this is how I feel when humans that have reproduced ask if their spawn can pet my dog. No. These troglodytes actually hate people simply for having kids, apparently. And it's, I just find that hilarious. Like, I would never in my life, in my wildest dreams, would it cross my mind to, to look down on someone for deciding not to have kids. It's your choice, it's your right. And to flip that and to just think lesser of someone or call people like breeders or whatever, like, like it's one thing to hate kids, that's fine if that's, if that's your deal. But to hate somebody else for, for wanting to have a family, well, that's some, that's some C-tier nonsense right there. Dude, that's gross. You don't need to be chewing on that with your gross casserole mouth. I sometimes stumble upon web forums or blogs for young moms without specifically looking for them. Yeah, right. <laughs> All right, I'm just gonna check Facebook before I go to bed, okay? Oh, no new likes, bummer. You know what, let's look at a Pinterest recipe real quick. And yeah, uh, oops, I'm all of a sudden on a blog for young moms without specifically looking for it. It's as if these women are just machines exclusively meant to produce babies. They also seem to age in an accelerated pace. 30 or 32 is very advanced age to have a first baby. You should start in your early 20s and have had your fifth baby by 30. What? How limited their lives must be? In my world, 35 is still young and vibrant with many years ahead. In their world, 30 is already over the hill. It's so depressing. The hubris and the self-righteousness is almost palpable through my computer screen. I'm just picturing what this woman looks like sitting there at her computer typing this up. I'm in a singles group. Invariably, one of us asked if there were other child-free around. Immediately, there were a number of women who said yes, but then started talking about their kids who are nearly grown, several of whom expressed interest in finding guys who didn't have kids to spend time with. This is a reoccurring theme, and if I get pissed about anything fast, it's parents trying to claim they're child-free and invade the space we're trying to carve out for ourselves. You see it here, too. Look, parents, you are never going to be child-free once you've chosen to have kids in any way, shape, or form. You are not one of us. We don't want to date you, and we are sick and tired of you clicking the don't have boxes on dating apps when your kids are off at college. You do have kids. You will likely have grandkids, and we don't want any part of it. You are not living the child-free lifestyle. That ship has sailed, and you weren't on it. When we ask who doesn't have kids, keep your damned virtual hands down, because you do not qualify. Ugh. <laughs> Bro. Dude, that is a 10 out of 10 rant. I would give that a golden globe if it was within my power. Are you kidding me? Imagine with all of the grievances life has to offer us, you take the most offense at someone checking the wrong box on a dating app. I tell ya. Honestly, I'm surprised you're even on a dating app with an attitude like this. I figured you would have been scooped up a long time ago. <laughs> Jeez, I'm freaking crow. I feel like parents are trying to make CF term more inclusive. Let us have our flipping word, you darn empty nesters. That comes from someone with uh, the subtitle Bunnies Over Brats in their Reddit name. Bunnies over brats, buddy. Take a hike. Dude, you are a nasty mess. Woo! Clean up on aisle six, please. Clean up on aisle six. It is interesting to me how the internet has really cultivated communities uh, that just have a common disposition for any given thing and they thrive and they all just kind of like sit around and circle jerk each other talking about 
you know, the thing that they hate so much. And certainly, I mean, that goes for, for everything. I've probably been on forums talking trash about stuff I don't like, but I find it weird that it's there's one directed strictly towards, like, kids and families. Oh, hell to the no! Some girl on Facebook just posted up that women at the end of their third trimester should be allowed to park in disabled spots in an elephant emoji, because that'll make it cute. Honey, did you not choose this? How do you equate your life choices with the misfortune of the disabled? No, your emoji does not make me think it's endearing. You're an idiot. And that you're procreating it all just makes it worse. Man, there are just some really pissed off people in this subreddit, man. I don't know about using handicap spots and all that noise, but I will say, interestingly, when my wife was pregnant, we went to a Barnes & Noble, and there were spots uh, with signs specifically reserved for expecting women. So those spots do exist. I don't see them everywhere, but some places do have them. There's already expectant mother parking, like, really now? Well, I guess other people know about those spots as well. On second thought, I don't really agree with the tone of the OP, but if if every woman in the third trimester was allowed to park in handicapped spots, there'd be no handicapped spots, because there's, like, millions of women pregnant at any given time. So I'm CF. I'm not a child-hating person. I just don't want kids for a bunch of reasons, from my history, from my husband's history, the cost, the effort, the responsibility, etc. So that goes on for about 30 more paragraphs, so I won't read it, but I just wanted to include it, because there are quite a few people on this forum, just to play uh, the other side here, that are just reasonable people that are child-free and don't want kids, but are feeling the societal pressure to have kids, specifically from family and relatives and friends, etc, etc. But this loud vocal minority of people in this Reddit that are here simply to hate anybody that breeds or has kids or kids in general, is it's kind of funny, man. Like, what? Some people's lives are just incredible. Oh my goodness. If you tell your mother I was blowing bubbles in the house, you're grounded. All right, you've done all you can in the seat, buddy. Time to come out. Oh, mercy almighty, yeah, get it going, woo! We're losing traction here, folks. We're losing traction. We've been in the same position for about an hour. Things are hitting the fan. Anyways, guys, it's about that time. Thanks for bearing with me this week. Uh, Schedule was a little messed up and I'm going away this weekend for our anniversary for four days That's why I wanted to get this video up because otherwise I would have had to go about a whole nother week without getting anything up We are going to be documenting a bit of the trip on my second channel Lush Life You can find the link in the description if you feel like following along on more uh, kind of family oriented uh, Me and the wife and the kids stuff. So love you to death if you could do me one last favor before you go <sighs> No instructions today. I don't have time. I'm losing the small boy. We need to go play some games just get out of your chair where you're sitting right now, put down your phone or your tablet, turn off your TV or your laptop or your computer, and just hip thrust that mo flippin' like button for me. See you in the next one. Peace. Hello everybody and welcome back to a brand new bouquet of perennials and chrysanthemums. My name is Leon Lush, and I, actually, you know what, hold on. My name is Leon Lush, and this is Jack's... <laughs> this is little tomato. <laughs> yeah. Hold on, hold on, hold on. We gotta get you, we gotta get you the, we gotta give you the proper entrance.